Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth and final part of our MSC Bellissima Maiden Cruise video. Today being our last full day meant we didn't want to waste a minute. We were up early enough to watch a ship dock, eager to explore Valencia. The port itself was quite restricted, so a shuttle bus was needed to take us to the port gates. After a quick breakfast, we went down to catch our shuttle. The shuttle ride was short and sweet, we were at the port entrance in no time at all. We were really interested in visiting the city of arts and science as the architecture looked amazing. An unusual looking building in the distance pointed us in the right direction. Gonna go over the... <laughs> if we don't get lost <laughs> again. We soon found ourselves at the City of Arts and Sciences. We were amazed by the building's unusual shapes and scale. It felt as though we were on the set of a sci-fi film, it really was like something from another world. As you can see, it was another glorious day. We were being spot on with all this sunshine. Hi guys. Hello. Uh, we've made it to Valencia, our final port, and we're at the museum Science, Science and, and Arts, arts I think. And, and the architecture here is brilliant. Just look, it's really incredible. After cooling off briefly in the shade and taking lots of footage and photos of these incredible buildings, we decided to venture on deeper into the city. We didn't really know where we were going, but we were happy enough just wandering about and taking everything in. Valencia was a busy city, bursting with life and pretty too, with lots of greenery and beautiful old buildings. Baking under the Spanish sun, we decided to have a quick ice cream break before carrying on. After a while the crowds and heat got a bit too much. Seeing these beautiful water fountains teased us back to Belisma's pools and aquapark. We walked back on ourselves, once again passing the City of Arts and Sciences. We'd walked quite some distance today, in fact 27,000 steps, or 11 miles according to my phone. It wasn't too long before we were back on board the ship. Before we could go to the aquapark, we needed to call by our cabin to grab some towels. On our way, we decided to explore Blissima's forward promenade deck. Finding our luggage labels and disembarkation arrangements spread across the bed was a sad reminder that our cruise was almost over. All of that walking had worked up quite an appetite, so we called in to the Marketplace Buffet for a quick burger. Finally, we'd made it up to the aquapark, 
I'm sure you can tell we absolutely love it here. It really is so much fun. And being our last day, we had to squeeze in as much fun as we could. Being on our feet most of the day, we decided to sit back with a cocktail by the Grand Canyon Pool. An hour or so later, Bellissima slipped in moorings and departed Valencia. Um, we've uh, just left Valencia, and that's our last Fine, port call on this little crew, we're just heading off now. Um, as you can see, Valencia is disappearing into the background of the sun setting. After watching the sunset, we went back to our cabin to get changed. We look too happy that we're going home. <laughs> um. Tonight we ate at the Lighthouse restaurant, where we enjoyed one last lovely meal. We couldn't fault the food or service here, the staff are brilliant. During the cruise we got to know our table companions really well. In fact, we got on so well we met up on a regular basis and even shared most of our cruise with them. As it was our last night, we decided to spend some time at the Champagne Bar. Do you wish you took me to Bellissima party now? No. Just for the record, for no. the camera. Yeah, you do. No. So, the whole oysters of the Champagne Bar is fine. It's alright, table, you can just wipe the clean. He's never tried oysters. Right. Cheers. 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 That's like cockles. That's fine. <laughs> that's like cockles, that's easy. Yeah, because this, right, I'm not even being funny, right? I don't even So, what do you do with the lemon? Where does the lemon come in? The jam. That actually tastes like cockles. Probably better than cockles. There's like no oats and grit in them. They're like really harsh. It's on fire. <laughs> From the lemon, because mm. you've got sunburn. But there's nothing wrong with it, it's nice. Do you like mussels? I've never tried mussels. Why don't you share one? A li Go on, you have to. You, you, at least you've tried it, you can say you've tried it. It just looks like a snot from the nose. No, I'd say if you eat sushi, that. If you eat sushi, that's that, fine. It tastes less fishy than sushi. Okay, at least I know what lemon tastes like. So yeah. I'll try lemon. Soak it in lemon. <laughs> It's like I, I just ate something from the sea. Like, yeah, yeah, it's salty, raw. but it's not the bad. Uh, Your turn, turn, I no. think so. I just don't like the texture. Yeah, it's the it's texture more than anything. Yeah, look, you got your um, look. That is actually like eating cockles. Before calling it tonight, we decided to go for a walk. It's never easy saying goodbye, and tonight was no exception. We took some photos together as a keepsake before going down to our cabins. We arrived at Barcelona the following morning. 
We were up early as we had to catch our transfer to the airport. We were feeling extremely fragile after drinking quite a lot the night before and only having three hours sleep. Overall, this has been a fantastic cruise. Blissima exceeded our expectations and we've had so much fun. We've met new friends and experienced new places. It's been great. Bellissima means most beautiful. If you're looking for a beautiful cruise, we highly recommend MSC Bellissima. We really hope you've enjoyed this series, if you have make sure you give these videos a like and remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching.